Hi guys, we are Gamers Teams. Today we will talk about Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. From Software is finally shedding some light on the gameplay aspect of the game. During the live stream, the studio provided more information about the mechanics of the game. Fortunately, if you missed it, you're in luck as the entire stream can be seen in our video. The gameplay preview was brief, but from Software highlighted several areas that players might find intriguing. For instance, our armored core can traverse the skies using thrusters and boosters, which can give us an advantage against certain enemy targets. In combat, players will discover that some missions offer additional assistance through ally armored core units. However, when facing a larger enemy target, the best option is to surprise them. Hitting specific systems of a target allows for disorientation, enabling players to unleash more devastating attacks. Overall, the game boasts a robust customization system, leaving the style of play up to the individual. Players can customize their armored cores with different weapons, frame parts, and internal components for power management. Armored Core 6 seems to promise an enjoyable gameplay experience. Engaging in intense battles against other robots in a dystopian world sounds captivating, and from what I've seen in the gameplay videos, it looks truly impressive and has got me quite excited. The game is set to release on August 25th on PC, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, S, and Xbox One platforms. If you would like to share your opinions about this game, feel free to leave them in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing to our channel. Until the next video, take care and farewell. Thanks for checking out the video. With this footage, we'll introduce our new mech action game, Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. We hope it gives you an idea of this title's mood and gameplay. In a future where interstellar travel is commonplace, our story begins in a distant star system on the fictional planet Rubicon 3. Our protagonist, an independent mercenary, is smuggled into Rubicon in search of a mysterious new substance known as coal. Your position is grid 135. Off target, but within permissible range. There's a catapult ahead. Use it to close the gap. Huge multi-layered stages will let players make the most of their AC's exceptional movement and attack capabilities. at your disposal, used for both traversal and combat. Did you hear anything about what the corps are up to? Yeah, they'll be coming soon. You got us on the run. We're being attacked! Full 
advantage of your AC's mobility to freely navigate the environment. Use boost to take the fight to the air, extending combat dimensions beyond the 2D plane. Is that an independent? Destroy it! Route number 621. Use your missiles. Vertical catapults to gain even more altitude and launch into the action from above. Against tougher enemies, deal impact damage to their attitude control system to temporarily put them out of action. This is called stagger. Any attack received in this state is considered a direct hit, dealing heavy damage. you exchange various parts of your AC at will, including weapons, frame parts such as the head and core, and internal parts for power management. Assembling an AC to fit your own playstyle and strategy is crucial to success. Got a job for you, 621. This one's a request from the Archibus Group. This request comes from Schneider, an Archibus subsidiary. The mission will take place in the Bona Dea dunes of Western Bellius. Our coral investigation there is being blocked by the Strider, a Rubicon Liberation Front mining ship. You are to destroy it. The Strider is a mobile resource base that was extensively weaponized by the Liberation Front. Call it the crowning glory of their efforts to militarize into an anti-corporate force. Your attack will focus on the Eye, a giant laser cannon connected directly to the main generator. It's protected by a shield, which is powered by auxiliary sub-generators. These should be your first targets. This concludes the briefing. Good luck. Time for a little self-promotion, 621. Smash the Strider, and Archibus HQ will be sure to remember your name. Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. First, get through all that dust and make contact with the Strider. Here, we're up against an enormous weapon that eclipses our AC in size.
some missions will see you partnered up with LIACs. Objectives will range from protecting targets and information gathering to the annihilation of enemy forces. 50%. Thank you. 